How's it going everybody? My name is Haji and I'm going to be talking about Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands and my first experience with the first half hour. I'm not going to do my normal commentary that I had for it just because I ran into some issues. But before I talk about that, let's talk about the good stuff with the game. Starting off with the graphics, the game looks absolutely amazing and the world is fucking huge. I love that. Big open worlds and games are like just freaking it's almost like porn to me i love huge open worlds that you get to explore that's really exciting to me in any game that's like the main reason i love far cry and it's really open-ended sort of in the way you can do the missions and i compare it to like i said far cry or like even a mafia 3 type dealio it's just like that genre there so having the freedom and the ability to explore just this vast open area is always a good thing for me in games so i really like that Also, I do like the setting. You're good. Uh. Also, I do like the setting. You're in Bolivia taking on a drug cartel, and that just happens to pique my interest because I do like watching a lot of drugs Inc. and learning about the underworld. So the theme of it is really good to me. I like that part of it. And the first mission, you're going to get some intel and save someone that they kept hostage, so you can take down some higher up lieutenants in the drug cartel. So really gets you it going right away. I love that. Anything that gets you immersed into the story immediately is always, always good. So, with all that said, I didn't really experience much in the first game. I know you can do stealth stuff, I, you can do goofy stuff with your vehicles. The vehicles are actually tanky, so you can sort of take shortcuts like you see in the video. It's it's good. It plays like a Far Cry game. It plays like, like uh, Mafia 3, it plays like Ghost Recon at the same time. So let's get into the issues. A lot of people have been having issues with the launch and that is including myself. So my main issue was I was getting frame loss and I tend to get that with a lot of first day release games and I try to play them and stuff. So that was kind of to be expected. Uh, a lot of people don't like that. I mean, it was pretty bad. I was dropping down to about 20 frames, even one frame a second at certain points towards the end of my session. And it was just almost, um, or it wasn't almost, it was unplayable. I couldn't play the game. So I just decided to do this instead for the video. I was going to do a first 30 minutes dealio, but it just didn't work out because of that frame loss. Now, there are fixes that people are talking about. You can disable the HBAO plus setting in graphics in the options. And then you can also turn off VSync and set the frame limit to 60 FPS. People said that made it a lot smoother. Now the FPS is probably an easier fix. And also if you have Asus, one thing I can suggest is I know I have Asus game first service. If you just do control shift escape, go to services, look for Asus game first service. And this only applies to Asus computers, by the way, obviously it's Asus, but you can go in there, disable Asus game first service. I know it messes with a ton of games and it makes me lose frames in certain games like Overwatch and I think even uh, Path of Exile I had issues, which is weird. But that's another thing you can do for that. Another issue I had was in the cutscenes. Not the, fir the first cutscene worked really well. It was really smooth. I really liked it where it shows the drug kingpin or whatever he is. He was basically depicted as a god. But the first cutscene as you start the campaign was lagging. I don't know what the hell that was. It was still sort of moving, but it would cut out and then start up again. I don't know. It was, it was weird. So I had issue with that. And also related to that, other people were having audio issues where the audio wasn't synced up or anything like that. And keep in mind, I'm talking about people with higher end PCs than myself. I have a 970 GTX with an i7 processor. So this game should be running fairly smoothly with that setup and people have like double 1080 GTXs in their computer. They're still having issues. Another issue people are having is the game freezes. It says after it freezes, uh, it, you can continue playing. You can move the camera around while it's free frozen, but apparently if you just wait long enough, it will unfreeze itself. Otherwise you can try restarting the game. That's probably the best fix for that. Other people are having the game not start at all. It'll quickly flash the Ghost Recon like icon or picture, the load up picture, and it just crashes immediately and it won't do it. There's no fix for that that I see yet. And pretty much uh, the only other issue I can see is another character customization issue where the character customization would be locked underneath another menu option so they couldn't even get to the character customization which kind of sucks because that's some of the most fun in these times of games or types of games to me at least so if you can't customize your character that kind of bums me out a little bit but 
I'm sure they'll have fixes out for the game immediately, so if you haven't got the game yet, I would wait until they kind of fi fix all these issues. They'll probably put out an update sooner than later. Uh, a lot of people are complaining on Ubisoft and stuff, so... That was just my first impression of the game, first quick little review of my first 30 minutes. Uh, it was fun for what I could do. It was pretty annoying that the frames dropped below 60 and even to one frame a second, especially during one of the most like intense parts of the game that I got to, at least at this point. So I was pretty bummed out to have to shut it down, but I'm going to try and fiddle with the settings. Uh, the V-Sync thing seems to have worked, so I'm sure that'll be fine for me. I'll put out a real Ghost Recon Wildlands video at some point. Uh, I'll even do it on stream as well. So other than that, I think it's going to be a good game. I just need to fix some of these frame issues. I'm sure if I do the V-Sync thing, it'll be fine. But if you're having other issues, I'd probably wait until they update it or just fiddle with settings. Other than that, not much you can really do. Anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching. Leave a like and a comment down below if this video helped you out in any way or if you're experiencing the same issues. Maybe you have another fix for anyone else who's having similar issues to you and you can help each other out if you're watching the video. I hope you all have a fantastic day.